right, so I have with me here Itsy Bitsy. She's a western fox snake. And you guys might be able to notice that Itsy looks a little cloudy. She's kind of gray. She's got these cloudy eyes. And what that means is that she is actually about to shed her skin. And the reason that snakes will shed their skin is because they're growing. So us humans, our skin grows with us as we get bigger and bigger. But as a snake gets bigger and bigger, their skin does not grow with them. So it gets tight. And then once it gets too tight for them, uh, they'll have to shed it. And then that also actually helps them get rid of like parasites or dirt that's on their old skin. Once the snake figures out that it's time to shed, their body will grow a new layer of skin underneath the old skin. And then the snake, once it's time, it will kind of go in some water to loosen the skin. And then it will rub its head up on a hard surface, usually like a rock or a stump. And it will rub its head up until it'll get like a little tear or a little rip. And then it will slither on out of the old skin, leaving the old skin behind. So if you were to find a snake skin in the wild, it's usually inside out. And that's because the snake, it's kind of like when you peel a sock off of your foot, that's how the snake will peel the skin off of its body. And so usually when they're in this state, when they have the gray eyes, they are they can't see very well, so they're pretty sluggish. Um, they kind of hide away from other creatures in the wild. She's not really too excited that I'm holding her because she doesn't uh, really know what's going on. And then she'll be like this for about three or four days and then her eyes will actually clear up and her skin will kind of clear up for another three or four days and then she'll shed her skin. Um, and the, that, so the whole process takes about a week. So here I have the snake skin. This is actually from our bigger snake, Rosie. She's a corn snake. And you can tell that she's pretty large based off of her skin shed. So sometimes you can't tell how big a snake is because they're all coiled up. But then when they shed, you can actually see that she's almost, um, almost five foot. She looks a little, maybe even bigger than that. But something that I really find interesting is that you can actually see her head right here. And you can see that she sheds her eye caps. So when I say that a snake sheds its skin, it's all of its skin, even the, the lining out of their eye. So that's really cool, but um, as snakes get older, they shed less and less, and then they actually might have a harder time shedding. And so that's really important that they shed these eye caps because sometimes if they can't shed it, it'll build up and it can make the snake blind um, in the wild. And that would be very dangerous because a blind snake probably wouldn't make it for very long. Um, but so that's kind of interesting. And then like I said, younger snakes will shed their skin more because they're growing quicker. They'll slow down when they get older. The snakes that we have here, at the Nature Center usually shed about every, I'd say six to eight weeks. Um, but a snake does grow throughout its entire life, so the snake I was holding earlier, um, she's still growing and she's 24 years so old. So if you do find a snake skin in the wild, something else that's kind of fun to do is you can try to identify what the snake, um, what kind of species of snake it is. So you can look at head shapes, um, you can look at patterns on the on the skin, so like you can tell that this is more dark on top and lighter on bottom. Um, if it's a rattlesnake, rattlesnakes actually shed their rattles. But it's kind of interesting, so you can take a look at it, maybe get like a snake ID book or look up different snakes on online, and then you can see what kind of snakes you have in the area. Might be kind of fun to know what you have crawling around in your grass. Could be fun.